What's up, fam? It's your boy Trucking on a Budget back with another video for you guys. Uh, I'm coming to you guys this morning with another crazy week. So I woke up this morning and uh, I'm all ready to go, all excited that it's a new week because, like, as you know, last week was just a terrible week for me. And uh, like I said, I got myself together. I reached out to my dispatcher only to find out that she uh, was diagnosed with uh, COVID. So she's feeling pretty bad today uh, probably has been over the weekend uh she did say that she's going to try to continue to try to you know find lows and things of that nature but uh you know the type of person that i am i can't uh see myself uh trying to have her working feeling as bad as i'm sure she does so I'm not going to have to find other ways to try to uh, get my loads. Um, I do have a couple of uh, contacts that I'm going to reach out to and hopefully they can get me something out of the area and something to the Midwest or even far West. Um, so until that time comes, man, we're going to see what happens. And once I do get some information, once I do find a load, believe me, I'm going to get back to you guys. So pray for my girl you know i hope that she feels better soon um i hate to hear anybody coming down with covid or coming down with any illness really that is detrimental to their health so um i'm definitely praying for her myself and uh pray for a fast and speedy recovery for her so with that being said get well sarah uh i wish you the best as far as your health and everything like that and believe me once you're feeling better I will be right here waiting for you to uh, get back to work. So let's go. What's up, fam? So an update on uh, what I just said earlier. Man, when I tell you I have the absolute best dispatcher in the entire freaking industry. She is feeling as horrible as she is feeling. But my girl is still out here grinding. She's still doing her thing for me. She just found me a load. I'm waiting on the uh, Raycon. And once that Raycon arrives and I, I will be back with you guys and let you guys know where I'm headed. But I want to give a huge shout out to my girl, Sarah, man. She she's doing her shit, even though she's dealing with this covid shit. And I'm I'm so grateful to have her on my team, man. It's it's the best feeling, man. And I encourage every last one of you to go out there and get yourself a great dispatcher, somebody that, you know, is going to work for you no matter what. Um, I would never encourage anybody to work if they're feeling as bad as they're feeling. And, and, and especially in a situation like this and a time like this. But the fact that she is willing to do what she's doing um, in spite of what she's going through, man, I am so grateful, so grateful. And and I feel so blessed to know that she's done this. And I just matter of fact, I just prayed uh, right before she uh, reached out to me. Um, that, you know, this week would be better than last week and that, you know, um, the success rate would be so much greater. And when I tell you God came through, God came through. He he's. Thank you. I just I just I just thank you. Um, but anyways, I'll be back with you guys once I figure out where I'm going. All right, fam, I'm not going to be too long. I just found out that I'm headed to Michigan. So I'm going to get out on this road. And I'm going to, uh, once I get somewhere situated, I'll get back to you guys, fill you in on on the um, information and everything. But I'm going to get going because I got a two-hour day. <laughs> Yeah. 
goes down into, I mean, this one lane goes down into three lanes. And for whatever reason, over the years, people have not figured that out and not have, have not figured out how to merge without causing all this traffic. It actually makes no sense at all. I mean, it's crazy. What's up fam, I made it to uh, my destination to pick up my load. Um, I'm headed to Mich Michigan after this. Uh, it's gonna take me about 10 hours or so to get there. Um, yeah, so uh, when it comes to Sarah, man, she, um, I just spoke to her, she's actually doing okay. Um, you know, we're happy we was able to get this load and everything like that. But you know, it just goes to show you that this COVID stuff is just not over yet, you know? Sadly enough, a lot of people were lost over the past couple of years because of COVID. And I'm just praying that my girl makes it through, you know, because, uh, you know, this stuff is like serious. And I don't know what uh, type of uh, COVID or what variation, variant of uh, COVID that she has. But like I said, I pray that she's, she's good. Um, and also I want all you uh, owner operators and people out there with your own authorities or just drivers or just period, just to, be safe out here, you know, and uh, just protect yourself at all times when it comes to this COVID stuff. You know, even when I go inside these uh, shipping and receiving places, man, I still mask up, you know, uh, even though a lot of places say that you don't have to, I still do it just to just to be on the safe side until I'm 100 percent sure that this mess is done and over with. You know, I'm going to continue to mask up, you know, do whatever I got to do to protect myself protect my family and my loved ones you know and i advise all you to do the same uh but i'm gonna head on out you know get up the road to michigan because i got a long ride um i don't want to waste too much time but um yeah so I'll, I'll get with you guys once i get to my destination here in Gainesboro, Gainesboro, Virginia at the Gainesboro market getting fuel. Figured I stopped here because the fuel uh, prices are a little bit lower than what they are up north. Up north, you're talking about an essence of $5.25 so better. Uh, right now, this one is at like $4.89. So I'm um, just going to fill up here and continue heading north. Um, I wish I could actually find fuel going getting less and less uh, as we go north but it just gets higher and higher but anyway I think the pump is stopped I'll go ahead and uh, get ready to get out of here sure there's a few pennies off it's actually 487 for, for uh, diesel out here in Gainesboro Virginia speaking of Virginia this is a big ass state I feel like I've been driving for like 10 hours and um you know, I still haven't made it out of this damn state yet. Um, I don't know. And then the navigation took me for another loop, you know, took me um, all around the world just to be able to get to um, where I'm at now. You know, I was actually driving along thinking that eventually I was gonna pop out somewhere up north, like somewhere in, um, I don't know, Pennsylvania, uh, Cincinnati or something like that. I mean, uh, Ohio or something. And uh, at some point it said, uh, yeah, you're going to end up around Breezewood, uh, Pennsylvania, which is, uh, you know, actually it said it, it was going to be on I-70. But I sat there like thinking like I was so far ahead of that area and I'm like nowhere near where I thought I was going to be. So um, I don't know. But I'm sitting here taking my uh, 30 minutes, um, you know, uh, trying to take it as soon as possible so that I don't have to worry about it on the back end. 
but um <clears throat> yeah it's uh, another nice day out here pretty hot um need to take this damn sweatshirt off so that i can actually uh feel a little more comfortable but it was a little chilly this morning when i left out so hadn't had a chance to take it off until now but um yeah hopefully i can get this load delivered tonight and uh you know move on to the next um load and speaking of which man my girl sarah she's actually on point to the point where she already got my next load ready for me uh which is actually going from michigan to pennsylvania tomorrow so she's already on it and i tell you man get yourself a good dispatcher she she's definitely a good dispatcher to the point where it's like you know i hardly ever have to worry about anything you know so even in her down or her 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 some of her worst time as far as health wise she's out there she's doing her her thing so like i said you know my hats off to sarah and uh hopefully she'll have she'll be able to recover very soon oh yeah once again man i want to thank my supporters man i want to thank all you guys and ladies who have been out here supporting me who have been giving me encouragement and uh you know strengthening words that keep me out here grinding keep me going you know uh because i tell you there's been times when i sit here like damn you know um loads are hard to come by and some more stuff but y'all have kept me pushing and so i'm very grateful thank you so much destination um, there's nobody here got here um, probably about one o'clock or so this morning um, I was tired of shit so I didn't really feel like finishing the damn uh, video but I'm up now waiting for somebody to get here and take this load but the crazy thing is this place doesn't even have a loading dock it doesn't have a loading dock and I'm worried that they uh, probably won't even have a pallet jack 
Uh, my pallet jack, sadly enough, is back behind the load, and then I was under the impression or thinking they possibly would not need my pallet jack. They would just take it off with the um, forklifts or whatever they usually take it off with. But as you see, there is no loading dock at all. Just a big ass chair. This chair is so damn big. Let me show you. This is how big this damn chair is. Crazy, right? But anyways, yeah, so um, it's between one of these two buildings. It's this one or this one over here. And I imagine it's this one because I see all these pallets over here. But uh doesn't even have a loading dock and it says shipping. Shipping and receiving. So I'm imagining it's right over here. But I don't see a uh, pallet jack or anything out here. So I don't know. I absolutely don't know. And this is supposed to be furniture and stuff that I'm delivering. So I don't know how they're going to get this shit off of here. Because I ain't freaking helping. I'll be damned. I am not helping. This is supposed to be a hand -off, hands off delivery. So, And it is cold as shit up here in Michigan. I had a miserable night trying to stay warm. Shit fucking sucks. Uh, but anyways, um, hopefully somebody's gonna show up. I got until nine o'clock. These, you know, the delivery was at nine o'clock. So we'll see what happens. So this nice lady gave me a donut and an orange. But sadly enough, I watched her wipe her nose with her with her hand right before giving me the donut. So I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Nice old lady. And she caught me filming her too. <laughs> so this guy just pulls up. He says he has no pallet jack. There's no loading dock here. And my pallet jack is at the very front of my cargo area. So I'm not sure how we're gonna get this damn load off of here, but uh, he's talking about uh, use the lift gate to bring the load down to the ground. But I'm sitting there like still, but how are you gonna get, get it off? Um, it makes no sense to me. So, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out though. We are gonna figure it out. I'm not even gonna worry about it. This is the load. They're trying to say that I was supposed to be here by 9 p.m. So all of this shit, uh, dude didn't even have help. I had to help him. Deliver, uh, take this shit off the truck. And I tell you, this is bullshit because it's supposed to be hands off. So, yeah, so, and then he wanted to give me shit about when the load was supposed to be here. He tried to tell me to do it at 9 p.m. yesterday. And I'm sitting there like, no. I didn't take this load until like almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And there was no way I was getting up here. In that time frame. Hey, if your guy put the pallet jack in the back, you would have just had to put it right out here. Actually, it. actually, he's the shipper. I, I mean, I had nothing to do with that. Well, oh, I know, but if he would have put it in the rear, yeah, you would have reeled it right out here, dropped it down on the ground, put it on. Yeah. The sad thing is, this guy right here with this truck, this tractor trailer, he has to do the same thing. And uh, neither one of us was prepared for this. They don't have jack up here. He don't even have help. These people out here, they're out here doing some uh, something that's not even related to this place. That's the only reason that they're parking here.
This has indeed been the load from hell. And believe me when I tell you, I'm making note, taking note of this place. Uh, so the next time that I see it on the uh, load board, believe me when I tell you, I'm gonna think twice about taking this load. Um, I don't care how much you're paying. Well, I say if they paying like six, 7,000 or whatever, I'll do it. But like, I, I did not expect to be doing all that work. I mean, to the point where it's like, I had no pallet jack. I had nothing. I had to basically um, take all that, that furniture and stuff off of the pallets themselves, bring it to the edge of the, uh, the lift gate and help do get it down to the ground. I mean, absolutely unreal. And, and quite a bit of that shit was pretty heavy. And the fact that it was only him and I, like craziness, absolute craziness. So anyways, fam, I'm gonna end this video I gotta try to get to my next load. So, um, as always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, man. I hope that you like the content that I put out. Uh, and we'll be back with the next video here shortly. All right? Get it.